Hi, and welcome to the Prince2 Foundations course. In this course, we're going to talk about a detailed methodology for actually executing projects more efficiently, more effectively, and better than ever before. And we're going to do it through three sevens, seven key principles, seven themes, and seven core processes that you're going to use in a consistent and repeatable way, but scaled and appropriately managed based on the environment you have to be able to support your project needs. Hi, my name is Patrick von Schlag and I'm going to be the instructor for your Prince2 Foundations course. We work with a lot of customers, big and small, to help understand service management capabilities, project management capabilities, and requirements. And one of the reasons we like Prince2 so much is that it's quite prescriptive. It helps project management organizations get very specific guidance on how to do their projects more efficiently, more effectively, and to help their customers. We look forward to working with you in this course. I appreciate you taking the opportunity to choose us to do this. Have a wonderful course and enjoy yourselves. In this chapter, we're going to introduce the structure of the course, tell you a little bit about your courseware, how to get the most benefit you can from that in preparing for the exam. And then we're going to introduce the notion of frameworks, standards, and methodologies, and how they differ a little bit, and how PRINCE2 helps support the overall capabilities that are created in project management. We'll finish up by looking in a more detailed way at the PRINCE2 methodology, the different core objectives, the different themes, and then the different processes. In this first lesson, we're going to look at some of the structure behind this particular courseware, talk a little bit about how to use it in a way that's going to help you maximize both your use of your time and the value of the course in helping you prepare for the Prince2 Foundations exam, and hopefully give you an opportunity to take advantage of the courseware that you have in a way that not only helps you with the test, but also jumpstarts your ability to use Prince2 to start driving value into your projects. I want to welcome you specifically to this course. This is a foundational course in PRINCE2. This course is intended for people who are relatively new to the PRINCE2 capability, but may not be very new to project management. You may have been doing project management for many years. You may even already hold other credentials in project management. But PRINCE2, as you'll see, very much speaks to how do we actually execute the project itself. And one of the things you'll like is, as a methodology, it provides a quite prescriptive way to look at how to execute the project in a way that will be successful for you. After this particular course, there are opportunities for more advancement in intermediate practitioner and advanced professional courses in Prince2. One of the benefits of taking part in our programs is your ability to leverage mentoring communities with other people studying project management, IT service management, and other complementary disciplines. As part of this course, please access the MyITSM mentoring community on LinkedIn, and by doing so, you can get advantages of existing frequently asked questions, other people who are taking the course at the same time you are, perhaps all over the world, and of group of experts who can answer your questions real time as you're asking them. One of the important things I'm going to encourage you to think about as you're working for the class is why exactly this is going to be beneficial to you and your organization. What exactly do you need to get from this in terms of specific methodologies and practices? How can you, does your learning experience need to reflect your particular need set? Reading versus listening to the videos on multiple circumstances. How can your practical experience help you understand the themes, understand the processes? One of the things I hope you're going to do is to, as we go through the course is to identify opportunities to use this information in practical ways at your job and then to identify specific benefits for you personally as you're advancing your career by taking this course. There's a learning methodology called Bloom's Taxonomy that helps describe how different types of training courses teach people and at what levels of knowledge and skill. At Bloom's Level 1 and 2, which is what this particular course covers, the focus is very much on creating knowledge and core comprehension of certain components. So in this particular class, we're going to focus on key terms to know, understanding the core principles of PRINCE2, understanding the themes, understanding a little bit about the processes. 
as you work your way up toward the practitioner levels and eventually to the professional level, you move up to more sophisticated levels on the Bloom's Taxonomy, adapting and applying the skills in a, the context of a particular project, and then ultimately synthesizing and evaluating different types of scenarios and bringing the skills together in a way that drives better value overall. So before we get started the course, it's important to take a moment for you to consider exactly what you want to get out of the course, how you want to use the study materials in a way that's going to be the most advantageous for you, how you can leverage both what I'm providing you as your instructor as well as your fellow students in the online mentoring community and how and where you can ask questions, and ultimately to set expectations for yourself and how you're going to use this information hopefully back in your projects to help drive value for you. Even when you're taking a class online, it's important to take the time to think through exactly how it is that you're going to work your way through the class. Virtually no one benefits from sitting and watching a program like this all the way end to end. So you're going to want to establish some opportunities to break this into some components. Establish some hours for yourself when you're going to take the time to study and perhaps listen to the videos, read your courseware, or do other kinds of work in preparation for the exams. Set appropriate times for breaks and try when you are doing the training to minimize outside interruptions, turn off your email, close other laptops, and allow yourself to be able to really focus on what we're doing together. The biggest key to success in any of these programs is finding a study plan that works for you and then staying to that and executing that successfully. It's just a project of your own. Throughout the courseware, you're going to notice a number of different structures that get used again and again. Each one of the chapters begins with a series of learning objectives and key terms that you need to know. Now remember, this is a knowledge-based examination. So understanding those key terms, even though they seem very straightforward, is very important because that's the kind of thing you're very likely to see again on the examination. Likewise, as you work your way through the courseware, we use different iconography to call out certain things that you'll find interesting, particular notes about how certain definitions support broader ideas in project management, specific examples in the news or practical examples of how you use certain concepts in supporting your projects, and obviously many, many different other iconographies and options here. At the end of each of our units, we're going to be providing you a quiz to test your knowledge, to be able to assess where you are, and to help you identify perhaps certain places where you might want to spend additional time studying the videos prior to trying to sit the examination, for example. Likewise, we'll provide some more detailed exercises to allow you to test your ability to apply that knowledge in a context that helps demonstrate your awareness. As you can see, there are three levels of PRINCE II certification. This particular program is a foundations program. And as foundations programs generally are, it's designed to provide you that substrate, that kind of foundation that we're going to build on in how you manage your projects. To learn the core processes, to learn the core themes, and to get a good sense of the overall objectives of how PRINCE II takes core concepts in project management and provides you a more explicit methodology. There are additional programs in practitioner level PRINCE II that focus more in depth on how you actually adapt these in particular situations to be able to run and manage projects. And then the PRINCE II professional, the capstone certification, allows you to be able to fully implement PRINCE II capabilities to manage your projects and programs. I suspect most of you are interested in some information about the PRINCE II Foundations exam. It is a multiple choice exam. It takes about an hour. There are 75 questions on the exam, but five of those questions aren't scored. They're basically test questions, and they won't necessarily tell you exactly which ones those are. So of the 70 questions they actually scored, you get one point each for each one you get right, and you need to get 35 of those 70 or 50 percent of those to pass. It is a closed book exam, very much focused on the core language, terminology, and core concepts that we teach in this course. If you pay close attention to what we do in the video and study these core concepts, I have every confidence that you'll do very well on your exam. So just a few guidelines as you get ready to start your journey with PRINCE II. 
your learning experience is going to be very different than anybody else's. You have your own preferences in how you learn, how much time you want to spend learning, how much of it you're going to learn from the, from the video, from me, and how much maybe you're going to get from your courseware. The most important part of this is to establish a plan for yourself and really stick to that plan. Know the things that you really want to know and focus very much on those core terms and concepts at the beginning of each section. When you look at the learning objectives, when you look at the terms to know, do you feel very comfortable with those issues? Now keep in mind that the things that we're talking about in this course are familiar concepts, whether your organization has traditionally used PRINCE2 or not, but your organization may have used different language to describe certain things. They may have chosen to focus on different aspects of different parts of the project. Understand that when it comes time to take a PRINCE2 examination, it's their examination. And so it's very important to be able to focus on what their correct answers to the questions are, not necessarily how you do it in your particular organization today. Likewise, you don't necessarily have to agree with every aspect of the PRINCE2 methodology, but the certification exam, of course, is about their approach to it, not necessarily whether you agree with that. So if you're like me and you like to argue with your exams, it's important not to do that. What's their correct answer will give you your correct answer. As you go and you do your planning, take full advantage of all of the resources that are available to you. Your learning objectives and terms to know are going to be on the test. You want to be familiar with those things. Take it part in the mentoring community and take advantage of some of the frequently asked questions and other information that's out there for you. Do the practice quizzes and work your way all the way through the course. And I think that you'll find when the time comes, you're going to be more than ready to go.